hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP using store procedures how to insert multiple selected checkbox values into MySQL PHP my admin database I'm selecting cooking movies and sports I have selected and music also I have selected four checkbox controls now before submit these values let's browse the table again right now it contains only one record let's submit and here we got the message records inserted successfully let's check the output in this browser table and here we got the results of this hobbies table the selected checkbox values are inserted successfully using store procedure this one friends here I'm very sorry if you notice in the header tags the PHP I have written the PD verb I'm sorry about that I have used my SQL app. in my next video I will show you how to insert multiple selected checkbox values using PDO and this video I have written the code in my SQL app. if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in PHP to store the selected multiple checkbox values First, we'll create a table and the stored procedure. So, just log in to my SQL PHP my admin database, and notice in the left panel there is a sample DB database, which is a user database. I'm creating a new table in this database. Let's expand the sample DB. I'm selecting the tables. Now, in these tables, I'm selecting the SQL. Let's create a table. Create table hobbies is a table name id integer type not null auto increment column as well as i'm adding the primary key for this column and the second column i'm adding the hobbies valcar 150 let's create the table go and the table is created successfully and notice you can in the tables folder the hobbies let's browse the table hobbies right now in this table contains zero rows now my aim is I want to insert the selected checkbox values which are the hobbies into this hobbies column using store procedures I'm selecting the procedures from the sample DB database To create a procedure, I'm selecting add routine. The routine name is a SP Hobbies, which is a stored procedure name. The type is a procedure. The parameter, the direction is a in. The name is Hobbies. The type is varchar. And the length I'm adding 250. After adding parameters, now I'm adding the definition which is an insert statement. Insert into the table name is hobbies. Column is the hobbies. Values. I'm adding the column name hobbies between the back quotes. That's it let's create the store procedure go and we got a message the store procedure has been created and also you can notice sp hobbies let's execute the store procedure we'll enter some values execute the hobbies i'm adding sports and cooking go let's check the table hobbies I am opening in a new tab see here we got the results of this hobbies table the id1 hobbies sports and cooking now let's insert values into this table using store procedures in php using pd word data objects I am using notepad plus plus for this video tutorial now in this new one page I am adding HTML, I'm closing HTML, head, 
I'm closing the header section, the body, I'm closing the body tag. Now between this body tag, I'm adding the center tag. I'm closing the center tag. H1. I'm closing the H1 tag. How to insert multiple selected checkbox values into my SQL PHP my admin database let's do PHP PDO using store procedure I'm closing the h2 tag after the h2 I'm adding horizontal line after that I'm adding form tag I'm closing this form tag. Now between this form tag, I'm adding due tag. I'm closing the due. Table border is equals to one. I'm closing the table tag. TR. I'm closing the TR. The table row, I'm adding the table column. Select hobbies. TR, I'm closing the TR tag. Inside this TR tag, I'm adding one more TD. The hobbies are sports. TD. I'm closing the TD tag. Now in the second TD, I'm adding the checkbox element. Input type is equals to checkbox value is equals to sports. Let's copy this. We'll add some more checkbox controls. The second checkbox is a cooking. The value is cooking. A reading. Reading. Movies. Movies. And the last one I'm adding music. Is the hobbies. After adding the checkbox control, let's add the button control. TR TD. Let's close this TR tag. TD. Input type is equals to submit. Value is equals to submit. I'm adding the attribute name is equals to submit. Let's close the button control. Now before writing the coding part in PHP, let's save this file. I'm saving this file in the root folder www php stored procedure checkbox dot php. Let's save this file. We'll check the output on the browser. And here we got the output of that code which contains the header tags and five checkbox controls to select the hobbies. Now my aim is when a user selects any hobbies, for example, I have selected the sports, reading and movies. When I click submit button, I want to save those values into this hobbies table using this stored procedure. Let's switch back to the coding part again. We'll write the PHP code. Now the first thing, in the form, I'm adding the method is equals to post. This is very important attribute method is equals to post in the form tag. After that, 
I have five checkbox controls. I am adding the name attribute. Name is equals to between double quotes. I am adding the hob name. Let's copy this. Let's add this to all checkbox controls. Now all the checkbox control contains a name same. Now let's add the coding part. Come to the bottom. After the form tag, I'm adding PHP code. PHP. Now in this PHP code, the first thing if condition if is set dollar underscore post between double quotes I'm adding the button control name which is submit let's close this one now inside this if condition I'm adding my connection string variables dollar host name is equals to localhost dollar db name is equals to my database name is sample db let's add the sample db database here dollar username which is root the default username dollar password notice here in the password I'm leaving blank because I don't have any password to log in my SQL PHP my admin database if you have any please enter that password here after adding that one let's add the connection variable is equals to my SQL underscore connect method the my SQL connect method takes the first parameter is the host name which is this one between double quotes add the host name on the second parameter is a username dollar username copy this one and the third parameter is a password I don't have any password so I'm leaving blank only and the last one I'm adding the database name which is this one dollar db name copy this one suppose if the connection is failed I want to display the message or I'm using die method with double quotes connection failed. After adding the connection variables, let dollar search the box variable is equals to dollar underscore post method between single quotes. I'm adding the checkbox name which is a HOB hub. Semicolon. I'm adding the another variable chk is equals to empty variable. I'm adding for each loop to select the checkbox values for each dollar chk checkbox as dollar checkbox result. Let's add this variable dollar check dot is equals to dollar checkbox result dot between double quotes I'm adding comma. I want to separate the comma between the selected hobbies semicolon. After selected the checkbox values, I want to insert those values into the table. So let's add the variable dollar result result is equals to my SQL underscore query method this query method takes two parameters the first one is a link which is a connection object copy this one paste here comma and the second one is a string query here the string query is a, a store procedure name a store procedure name is a call this one copy this part and add here put in the double quotes delete this default parameter inside 
add this one chk between single quotes after that so once the record is successfully insert i want to display the message if dollar result double equals to 1 which means succeeded echo between double quotes i'm adding h1 tag a records inserted successfully else in the else part echo h1 i'm closing the h1 tag the records fail to insert that's it we have done the complete coding part we are inserting the selected checkbox values using store procedure let's save this file we'll check the output on the browser i'm reloading the browser oops we got line 55 next line 55 line 55 here well, here we got a gap so let's save this file we'll check the output again i'm reloading the browser now we got the perfect output i'm selecting cooking movies and sports i have selected and music also i have selected four checkbox controls now before submit these values let's browse the table again right now it contains only one record let's submit and here we got the message records inserted successfully let's check the output in this browser table and here we got the results of this hobbies table the selected checkbox values are inserted successfully using store procedure this one that's it friends here i'm very sorry if you notice in the header tags the php i have written the pd verb i'm sorry about that i have used my sql app in my next video i will show you how to insert multiple selected checkbox values using pd verb and this video i have written the code in my sql